Hi everyone, so um, I randomly decided to film this. I actually didn't know if I wanted to film this, and as you can see, this is my five month update of Retin A and Doxycycline. So, obviously, by this video, you can see that I decided to do this. So, as you may know of my previous videos, or if you've seen my um, journey, I was supposed to do one every week for 12 weeks, but as school started, it got really, really, really hard for me, and I think I only got to either four or five weeks. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. So, um, I'm basically going to tell you what you what I didn't post. So, usually, um, you have 12 weeks at the beginning of your um, retina journey where your skin basically gets worse before it gets better. So let me just tell you, um, there's this one other girl on YouTube, I don't know, um, I forgot what her name is, but she did like her 12 week journey as well, and she basically, at the beginning, she barely broke out. I don't know how she barely broke out, she just probably has really good genes, and she said that by like week 10, 11, and 12, her skin was basically out of the purging stage. Now for me, in my case, I have acne prone skin, um, genetics, you know. So the 12 weeks was definitely 12 weeks of hell. Legitimately 12 weeks of hell. And um, I was very grateful that I decided to start this as soon as summer break started because I basically stayed at home avoided people except like really close people because I was ashamed of my skin. It was pretty bad. And even though I did not post week to week um, updates, I did take pictures of my skin, which I will have at the end of the video. So if you want to skip, I'll probably have an annotation here that says when the pictures start. And you can skip to that or you can skip to what I have to say. Or you can stay and see what I have to say. So, um... Basically, it was 12 weeks of hell for me, and after the 12 weeks of hell, my skin got really glowy, it looked really smooth, it was, um, it was basically one texture, which was really nice, and, um, basically, my T-zone started getting oily for once. Like, it's still, it's dry right now, but it gets oily, not too oily, but I do get a little bit shiny, which is really weird because I've never gotten shiny ever. I've always had cactus, well, not cactus dry, like desert dry skin. So it was really weird. It's really weird to get used to oiliness. So to this day, I feel like, um, I don't know if I said this, this is my five month update. To this day, um... I can put on Retin-A as soon as I come out of the shower, it doesn't burn. And yeah, so let's just start off with something. So um, this is my last bottle of doxycycline. Um, I stopped for a month and a half just because I felt like I didn't need it and I got really lazy with it. So I stopped for a month and a half and um, I would take it like, I would take it like every four days maybe. And one of those four days, I was stupid and did not follow the instructions. First of all, with doxycycline, you should have a complete glass of water when you're taking this, so it can go all the way through. And you should listen to the instructions when it says, don't lie down within the first 10 minutes of taking it. Now, what did stupid Renee do? I swallowed the pill, because I can swallow pills without water for the most part. And then after I swallowed it, I went straight to bed. And as soon as I lay down, I felt it kind of get stuck, but I didn't think of it as such a big deal, so I just slept it off. And for the next week, I felt like throwing up, it hurt to talk, I lost my app, it, like it hurt to eat and drink. And so then we went to the doctor, and it turns out that um, it's common when you don't follow the instructions with this, that um, it basically got stuck somewhere down the two in your body I don't know and I mean that's pretty bad because I want to be in the medical field and I don't know what it's called so um I basically got stuck and it irritated my stomach it irritated everything I ended up with gastritis and esophagitis I everything with itis just means it's inflamed and so it was the cause of this and he said um 
Well, your skin looks pretty clear for me, so I don't feel like, I don't think you need to get refilled on this because um, this is my last bottle. And I was kind of scared of taking this again, but I noticed like because of the stress I was um, experiencing with school, with show choir, with dance, and keeping up with my grades, I started breaking out again. So I decided to go back on. That's my last bottle. And once I run out, I'm going to ask for more. So basically, I was off it for a month and a half, and now I'm back on it. Um, I still follow my routine. I mean, I use my clindamycin in the morning after I wash my face with either a benzoyl peroxide wash, a salicylic acid wash, which I only use the Biore salicylic acid wash as a pick-me-up on the days of the month because I just feel like it gives such a cooling sensation and your skin is so in the time of the month. So that's like my little pick me up or I use my sensitive skin one depending how my skin is doing. And at night after I wash my face with the sensitive skin one, I apply my Retin-A and my doctor actually bumped me up to a next size which is great. Cause I mean this, this is the last little small tube I have. Um, I mean it's great and it's small and it lasts a long time but it just it's more convenient to have the bigger one. So, right now my skin is pretty dry because of the season change. Um, I noticed last year that um, when I went to the desert for Christmas, my skin, I, couldn't, I, I could only wear BB cream because foundation just looks so bad. And that's what my skin is right now. And I am not in the desert. I am by the beach. And why am I pale? Don't ask. Don't. Just don't ask. So, um, definitely have to... Go back to the foundation routine I was doing while I was through my purging stage, which I will record and get out to you guys. So, yeah. The only thing I have to say is that I feel like um, I might still be breaking out because I still have to cover my skin up in concealer because my skin is still pretty scarred up because whenever I break out one single breakout will leave a scar on my face so what I've been doing to kind of um, speed up the fading of this process and I know this is bad and do not yell at me this is my skin <laughs> and don't worry I don't do this often is that I've actually looked into it and I bought a skin liner don't kill me um, I don't know, it just looks it looks oh you can't even see it I don't know it just looks like this it smells weird. Um, this is just the Dr. Fred Summit. I was supposed to get the Natanola. And I got the Natanola. The Natanola Fade Cream. But as soon as I opened the Natanola box when I got home, I had this. Does this look like Natanola? Does this say Natanola anywhere? No. So, um, but this still works. I think the Natanola is, um, has a higher percent of a bleaching property it's basically bleach the bleaching property in this so um yeah I'm, I'm i'm okay with this i don't really care i'm not gonna go buy the other one now i know that's really really bad for you but i only use it twice a month i use it and i only got it like a month two months ago maybe and i've probably i've only used it maybe like a couple times i use it on a zit twice a month if I get and use it, I will put it on the zit as soon as it becomes, like, it's not long, no, bleh, as when it's no longer a bump, that's when I put it on. And after it's had, like, a couple weeks of fading, I put it on again to fade it. And then I just wait the next month to, to do it two more times. And it's definitely has helped with the fading process. Like, I used to have a bunch of scars here, and they're practically, like, right here. Because that's where, like, most of my Retin-A breakouts were. And they're practically a lot really faded I, I don't have to put concealer over here anymore unless I have a breakout because it's faded and I really think this really helped and I'm still pretty scarred up everywhere I hormonal breakouts stress breakouts like school breakouts time of the month breakouts so I still break out sadly and I think it's a big chunk of it's because I stopped the doxycycline but I think it's good to stop for a while and then restart so like your body gets unused to it and then when you do it again it has to get used to it again but then you stop 
So it's not like it's actually working for you. So that's basically all I have to say. My routine is still the same except I added the skin whitener. Um, you have to be really careful with it though. Um, you have to remember to put on sunblock with it because if you go in the sun, it's just going to darken up again if it's not protected. So yeah, I don't know when is going to be the next update because I'm not breaking out anymore and we're basically just working with fading the scars, which takes time to fade scars. You don't really see the scars fade in, like up to a year. So I might update in a year. I don't know. Let's see just what happens. But that's my update for now. I'm going to insert the pictures now of my pre-breakout, like pre-retin-A breakout, my retin-A, how my skin is before this hormonal breakout that's going on, and right now with the hormonal breakup. So I will see you guys all next time. Bye. So this is my pre-breakout before I went on Retin-A, this is what made me go to my doctors. And this is the first couple weeks of the purging stage. It is not pretty at all. And it just kind of gets worse. Like this is another week. It just gets worse. I can't really believe that my skin was like this at a point. Um, I didn't take pictures of every week. I kind of took every couple of weeks just to see the update. I think um, this was pretty bad. And these are pictures when it was still bad, but it wasn't like as bad as the previous weeks. These are pictures of it kind of healing, leaving all the scars. Here you can see all the scars it kind of left behind. and the scars diminishing and this was my skin actually like a month ago maybe it's most it, as you can see it's pretty clear and it's all scars now this is a picture I took today it's pretty clear a few scars and a couple hormonal breakouts that's the seems